Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and doing this work and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawan to the Akiam and to the Akwaf that'll be you brothers and sisters Adawan Ratiza that is to say Lord willing hopefully by the end of this video you'll be edified okay uh, this is your brother Amawan Ibad back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai you know uh, just doing as commanded to feed the sheep. Know this is going to be in transit, and um, this lesson is um, it's going to be um, extemporaneously, okay? Extemporaneously, uh, meaning that it's going to be you know, I'm shooting from the hips, it's all of the spirit, you know. So, you know, I'm headed out from point A to point B and back. So the spirit got on me to uh, feed feed the lambs of Yahweh Shimei Shai as commanded. So um, let's go and go into it, various topics. And as I say once again, this is straight off the hips, you know, extemporaneously. Look up that word, okay? So this is um, straight off the spirit, you know. So yeah, brothers and sisters, um, as you know, we in uh, we in beautiful times, man. You know. Uh, even though we got uh, a lot of tribulation headed our way, yet we're still in beautiful times because at the end of the day, uh, it's too much uh, tribulation shall, shall we enter into the kingdom, you know? Um, Acts chapter 14, verse 22, right? So we know that we can't go into our kingdom without tribulation, because that's what the scripture says, Right? You have, uh, uh, the scripture says the righteous shall uh, scarcely be saved. Okay? So if the righteous shall scarcely be saved, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? Roughly paraphrasing. You know? For, for, for two thirds and uh, two thirds of our own people and, 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 and the adversaries of the Most High, the enemies of the, of the Most High. You know, so um, it is what it is, man. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So if you understand that, if you know that, then you know that certain things need be. Certain things have to happen. And that's just what it is. Okay. You know, that's exactly what it is. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. But before that day. You know, before we can enter into the chariots, I don't want Ratazah, Lord willing, I'm of that precious number. Before we can enter into those chariots, it's going to be a whole lot of tribulation. You know, it's, you're not going to be just raptured away just yet um, as, as, as the so-called modern day uh, plantation, plantation Christianity would have you believe. With their dogma, you know, that's, that's their dogma, what they, what they spewing. Okay, it tells you through much tribulation. Okay, the Bible speaks about Jacob's trouble, you know, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7, you know, where it says, Jacob, Jacob, who is Jacob? Jacob is the uh, uh, the progenitor of the 12 tribes, you so called the 12 tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the biblical Israelites, okay? You are the true people of the book, okay? And the Bible coins a time, Jacob's trouble. That means that that time is your trouble, okay? And, and, and it's near it's near upon us, okay? You see what they say about this um, uh, CV, COVID-19? They made your faces 
uh, 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 the face of that now. All of a sudden, coming all the way from Wuhan, China now, all of a sudden, you, our, our people is the cause of it. They say we're more susceptible than anybody else. This travel across all those other uh, European countries before it get to the United States and now they blaming our people? Really? Come on, man. Right? 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us that we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right? We're not ignorant of, the, of their devices, man. You got to see through this. You know? Blessed be those who the, the most I are blessed with that, with that eye salve. You know? Revelation 3 and 18. Okay? That you can see through spiritual lens. All right? You would see that there is a time of Jacob's trouble that is coming upon us. So, Scripture says, through much tribulation. Okay? So, you got to you gotta be prepared and, and, and fortify your mind. Okay? It's spoken of also. The Lord, our Lord spoke about it. Prophesied about it. All right? And our, our Lord come in the spirit of prophecy. It tells you that in the book of Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. Okay? The Lord spoke about it in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 21 and 22. Okay? Where it says, and it shall be a time. Like no other before. Okay? A time of trouble. You know? Of great tribulation. Roughly paraphrasing. And except those days should be shortened. Right? There should be no flesh be saved. But, be, but for the elect's sake. For the elect's sake. You know? The elect of Israel. Right? Those days shall be shortened. So, brothers, you got to keep, keep, keep uh, seeking the Lord. You know? Keep seeking the Lord, keep doing his work and doing his will. You know, keep pleasing him. You know, you've got to have faith and believe on Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. The scripture tells you, say, as far as impossible to please him, it is impossible to please him if you don't have faith. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Okay, for he that cometh to the Most High have to know that he is, and he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, so you have to know that he, he is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You have to believe on your power. Okay? And the Lord will defend you and, and, and fight for you. Okay? So it starts with you believing on the name of the Lord. You know? And you got to please him by doing his work and doing his will. And, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Okay? The scripture tells you, say, when a man's ways please the Lord, he make it even his enemies be at peace with him. Okay? So... This is what we got to do. Spend your time trying to please the Lord. The scripture tell you, uh, Matthew chapter 6, beginning at verse 19 and 20, 21, it says, you know, store not up treasure on earth here where, 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 where thieves broke through and steal, you know, and, and rust and moth, but store up your treasures in heaven, you know, where it doesn't rust nor moth, roughly paraphrasing, or steal, uh, thieves doesn't break through and steal. For wherever a man treasure is, there his heart will be also. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. So what do you what would you do from this point going forward? From henceforth, you better make sure it's pleasing to Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. Because anything else you do on the earth is just gonna be all vanity and it's gonna come to naught if it's not of Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's for certain. That's of a surety. Okay? That's what it is, man. If you want to be numbered among the lek. You got to start praising the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Turn from your wicked ways and repent. Okay, repent. Seek the Lord wholeheartedly and sincerely and in truth. Okay? Okay? Our power is a spirit and we have to worship him in spirit and in truth. So that's what it is. But hey, like I say, Turbulent times are coming, man. Tribulation are coming. It's also spoken of in the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and 1, where it tells you uh, we're going to need divine intervention. The Lord is going to send, the Most High is going to send the archangel Michael, okay, the prince to stand up for his people. This is how bad of a time it's going to be, okay? It's going to be real bad out here, man, all right? You see they want to vaccinate everybody, all right, and say they're going to use the military to do it, all right? So what that sound like to you? That doesn't sound like anything cute. That sound like whether you want it or not, you're going to get it. So that's why the scriptures speak of even being as a pilgrim. Okay? Um, what's that? Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 40. You know? 
Oh my people, make you ready to the Bible. Be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? So that means if you don't want to be microchip, you got to be willing to be as pilgrim. Okay? The Bible tells you about the mark of the beast. Okay? What we know to be as the RFID chip. Microchip. That's, that's, that. We know that through the spirit to be uh, the mark of the beast. The RFID microchip. Implant. What they want to implant in you. Because these people want raw power over you. They want to be your God. Okay? They want to take you away from your power and they want to be your God. Okay? When they are not God. Okay? There is only one true power. Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? The Bible speaks of it in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, going on down. Right? Where it says, and he calls all. Right? Both great and small. Right? Free and born. Right? Rich and poor, roughly paraphrasing, to receive a mark, save that he cannot buy or sell. Right? So, a lot of people are going to get that mark. They're going to take that chip. A lot of people are going to take that chip willingly to get along with the society. You know? And a lot of them are going to take it because they, they, was, they was predestinated to take it. You know? But the scriptures say, the Lord have uh, 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 7,000 men who haven't, who haven't bowed to Baal. Okay? So the elect, the 144,000 and one third believers, okay, they're not going to take no chip, okay, they're not going to be chipped up, okay, they're going to hold fast, stand firm, you know, and they're going to just, they're going to just, um, they're going to just, um, uh, 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 just survive, until until they up in their chariots, though uh, um, some some of our people are are gonna become martyrs for for Yahweh Shai's sake, you know the scriptures speak about um, um, you know being faithful unto death, you know standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know. So you know the elect is gonna stand stiff for the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and it also tells you the consequences of taking. Uh, 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 the mark of the beast, which is the RF, the RFID microchip. Okay, you are uh, Revelation chapter fourteen and verse nine going down. So you'll be tormented in front of the uh, uh, the holy angels and in, in the presence of the Lamb. All right. So you have to fortify your mind. Start fortifying your mind from right now. You got to start doing it. You know, start getting grounded and rooted in the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Shai? Get into this Bible, man. St. John chapter 5 and verse 39. It says, search the scriptures. Okay? For in them you think you have eternal life. For they are they which testify of me. Meaning our Lord. Yeah, how Shai? Alright? That's what it is, man. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is, man. So, uh. Yeah, you gotta be, um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep pushing and keep fighting, man. Keep pushing, keep fighting, keep exhorting one another. <clears throat> keep showing brotherly love. Let brotherly love continue. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 1. Let brotherly love continue. You know? Stay in the word. You know? 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. <clears throat> Study to show thyself approved. You know, keep working. You know, keep studying. Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 of verse 1. You know, staying occupied in the meditation of these prophecies. Okay? Seek, seeking out the ancient of days. Studying. All right? Roughly paraphrasing Ecclesiasticus 39. <coughs> Salakia. All right? Uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16 it tells you to seek seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read no one of these shall fail okay none shall want her make no one of these shall fail meaning the, the prophecies none shall want her make alright that's what it is 
right? Right? For the spirit had commanded, and he had gathered them. Roughly paraphrasing. Revelation 1 and 3, blessed is the man that reads. So we got to be constantly, we got we to be constantly, constantly um, trying to, uh, you know, gain a little knowledge, a little wisdom. You know, it comes, it comes from the most high, which is a gift. Okay, Ecclesiasticus um, chapter 1 and verse 18 says, the fear of the Lord, you know, and wisdom. It's, it's actually a gift from the Most High. It comes from on high. Okay? So, uh, with that, I reached my destination. Um, if I, if I, if I, if I, if the Spirit's still on me, you know, on my way back, maybe I try to, you know, um, go and go into another lesson. You know, this one was, um, exporaneously, you know, straight off the hip through the Spirit, you know. So, you're just trying to, trying to feed the, the, the lambs of your heart by Shimei Shai. But um, take heed to the words, man. You know, take heed to the words. We're coming into some serious time. We're coming into some, some serious times right now. All right? Brothers and sisters. So with that, I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of great mills who have taught me this truth and rule well. All right? Salutation to the brothers that are pushing. Keep pushing, stay fighting, stay e e exhorting one another. So until the next time, Adawan Ratazah, I'm going to say, Shalom.